everybody, it's Chrissy from Tales of the Ravenous Reader, and I'm here with Gabe Hudson, the author of Morph the Teenage Dragon. Yes. We're so happy to be here at SCCC 2017. It's my first year. Is it your first year as well? It is, but I'm thrilled to be here. Oh, so fun. So, so fun. So, Gork just came out. That's right. It came out on July 11th. What's it been like so far? Uh, so far, the response has been uh, overwhelming uh, on Twitter. Hearing from booksellers, and when I go to give readings, um, people are taking pictures of themselves uh, doing this yeah, doing from that. the book and holding the book. <laughs> so uh, it's been just super touching, actually. So I love the tagline: "No good human would love this dragon. Would, would won't love this dragon named Gork. He's a big heart, right? But That's his right. classmates don't necessarily appreciate that." That's right. He is. Uh, he attends War Wings Military Academy, mm -hmm. and. Uh, they want you to grow up to be a warring tyrant, uh, but he's a sensitive dragon with a big heart, very small horns, two-inch horns, and uh, he, he likes poetry, so uh, he has a hard time fitting. And there's a lot of different social groups within his academy, right? That's right. Were there parts of the book that you felt like you identified with or your experiences from your teenage years you put it in? Yes. Uh, well, I come from Texas, uh -huh. and I'm a tall, big person. <laughs> So, with a big heart? Yes, with a big heart. You can't write a big heart of character unless you have one, right? Thank, I want to quote that. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I So growing up there, there were expectations for male behavior and uh, macho behavior. Right. And I didn't really feel like I fit into that. I did feel right. I was sensitive. But society had certain expectations for me. Uh, so learning to come to terms with that and be comfortable with myself and, you know, to some extent, and that's Gord's journey as well. Do you feel like that's the inspiration behind your book? I think so. Were there things that you wrote before you came to write Gork? Yes, I wrote a story collection about the first Persian Gulf War. That's really different. It is. But I'm sure it led into some of this considering yes. that's awesome. Yeah. That's but really awesome. Thank you. Um, and in fact, I think my publisher at first thought I might do another kind of Gulf War book. And uh, I, I think they were surprised when I came in with Gork. Um, but then they were delighted. So this, everyone else has said this is a surprise to them. To me, it seems like a natural outgrowth. You're like, this is just me. Exactly. It's me and it's my background. Exactly, exactly. So talk a little bit more about that research process. Obviously, you've written about wars and wartime and probably some people in it. So what was that research process like to bring it to a teenage level, to a dragon level? Um, I think uh, I really just wanted, the research was reading what I love. Mm -hmm. So uh, when I was struggling to write my novel for a while, I went back and I started to read all of the different age groups books that I like. Dr. Seuss, right. you know, middle grade, white, like the stuff that I love. And then I just wanted to use everything that I love and put it into the book. That was, so it's really my life as a reader is represented in, in the book I hope. I love that. Yeah. What are some of the books that you've read that you that you feel like are in there for the uh, part of it? Well, uh, there is The Hobbit. Mm -hmm. It's a huge influence. Um, and also uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I've heard people compare those, right? Yeah. That's awesome. So, what that, was it like writing for YA? Um, I, I actually think that uh, the YA readership, um, I think it's a more... Uh, advanced readership in many ways because they are grappling with the issues that are prominent in our society right. and they're reading to learn how to contend with these issues and they're not, the books don't conceal that fact mm -hmm. and I think that there's something sort of, I feel like adults could take a page out of why it. Totally can. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it, was a, it was a tremendous uh, pleasure and treat to um, write. YA, and also I have to say, just interacting with um, the readers as I go on the book tour has been like so meaningful. Have there been any experiences specifically with teens that you're like, oh my gosh, this is why I wrote this book? There was, uh, at Harvard Bookstore, there was a, uh, a teenager, Patrick, and he, uh, I asked at the beginning of the reading, I said, do we have any dragon lovers here? A few people raised their hand, and I said, uh, why are you here, sir? Just being friendly. And he said, 
I drove all the way from New Hampshire because I love your book. I'm such a huge fan of Hitchhiker's Guide. He just went on and it just changed the whole reading because uh, I said, I'm so delighted you're here. So it's like stuff like that, mm -hmm. you know, it's like uh, deep. You're like, that's why I wrote this book. It is. That's why I wrote it this is. book. It is, absolutely. Well, that's really wonderful and I appreciate you being here and sharing it with me. If you have not checked out Gork the Teenage Dragon, it is beautiful. I love, I love the cover and then underneath, it's purple. That's right. So it's like there's all these hidden secrets under there and just lovely artwork and all of that. So if you haven't checked it out, it's out now. You can find it at your bookstores. You can find it online. And I want to appreciate you being here with me. Oh, thank you so much. I'm thank thrilled. you. Bye. Bye.